Gray Street, Big Wreck, latest album by the band, in what seems to be a steady succession of new albums since their reformation back in 2011. Uh, we're seeing uh, a new record about every two or three years from the, uh, Ian Thornley and company. Um, this, however, since their reformation and their um, reintroduction into the Canadian hard rock, rock music scene, is the first record they've put out. Um, that would be Albatross and then Ghosts and now Gray Street. This would be the first one that I would be reluctant to recommend to non-fans. Ghosts, especially, uh, uh, released about three years ago now, was such a fantastic piece of material that uh, it was in my top three records for the entire year, no matter, no matter what genre or what country those artists came from, never mind top Canadian uh, record that year, well, top three of, of all of them. Just a fantastic, fantastic piece of music. Um, which isn't to say this is bad, um, but by comparison to Albatross and Ghosts, uh, Gray Street left me feeling um, a little cold. Um, it's not bad, um, but I found myself while listening to it getting easily distracted. And that to me is, um, no, not my ADHD. Um, and I think it's a good sign of uh, the music being either not particularly interesting to me or um, it being rather um, staid. Uh, this feels a little bit like a retread on the Big Rec sound, um, which is bound to happen. I mean, the band is Big Rec, and so they're going to sound like themselves, of course. Um, which isn't to say, again, that there aren't great moments on this album. Um, it comes as no surprise, which is the name of the first track, um, is a great, great single. Um, one of my favorite parts of the whole album takes place on a song that I find, eh, it's just okay, but one of my favorite parts of the, of the whole album is a musical interlude in the middle of uh, Motionless, which um, is one of my favorite things that Big Wreck does, is bringing down the dynamics and allowing Ian Thornley's beautiful guitar playing to just take over. And, and uh, his, his solos, his soulful solos, um, are some of the best in the in the in the industry, I think, and uh, I could listen to them for hours on end, uh, and occasionally live you can listen to them for what feels like hours on end, but it goes by so quickly because it's so damn good. Um, it closes with a very very strong track, "All My Fears on You," um, but there's some stuff in here that just isn't quite up to par with, especially the last two records. Again, it's not a bad album. If you're a big Wreck fan, you're going to pick it up, uh, and you're going to enjoy it. Um, I don't think you're going to love it, um, unless Big Wreck is your absolute favorite band of all time, in which case anything they put out you'll salivate um, tremendously over. Um, however, myself, it left me a little bit cold. Gray Street, good record for fans, not a record I recommend to someone who's just getting into this band called Big Rec, who've been making albums for this being 1997, this being 2017, this would be the 20th anniversary coming up of In Loving Memory of. Whoo! Music industry keeps chugging along and, and I keep trying to keep up. Um, so, will we see a 20th anniversary edition of In Loving Memory of? That would be uh, a good question for, uh, for the record company, for Warner Music to, uh, to answer. Um, got a big shout out to Ontario and Factor and Olay and Anthem and the uh, industry grants from all of those uh, entities and from Canada helping bring great music um, to a store near you. Um, pick it up. If you're a fan, you probably already have. If you're a fan and you're wondering if you should, yeah. Um, it's not as good as Ghosts. It's not as good as, as Albatross. Uh, in fact, it's their weakest album so far, which doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad record. It just means, in comparison to the excellency that is Big Wreck, this is 
um, the weakest of them. Still a good record. It's bound to happen. You can't keep making, well, some bands can. Uh, it is very, very difficult to keep making the best album of your career every single time. So, um, worth picking up if you're a fan. If you're, if you're wondering if you should get into Big Wreck, I'd recommend very much picking up, of course, in loving memory of. Maybe wait to see if there's a 20th anniversary special edition coming out this year. Um, but I also would recommend going out and picking up Ghosts right now. Go get it. Stop watching this and go pick up a copy of Ghosts. Um, it's an excellent, excellent record. Gray Street, not so bad itself. My name is Daryl. I've been your critic today. This is episode number 64 of Album a Day Online here on the YouTube. And I will be back again sometime in the near future to bring you uh, maybe the new Mother Mother record. I promise that the last review, I'm going to bring it up probably the next review. I want to spend some more time with it. It just came out last Friday and I want to make sure I give it a chance to sink in. Thanks so much. Don't stop listening to music. Don't stop looking for new music to listen to. Uh, branch outside of your comfort zone. There's great music in every genre. Maybe not new country. Who can say? Uh, I don't like to, to deal in absolutes. Haven't found any great music in new country yet. It's bound to be out there. Maybe I need to look harder. <laughs> I digress. Thanks so much. Like, subscribe. Uh, and uh, leave some comments below. We'll see you again for another album a day online.